Hi, thank you for joining me. We've been reading through A Course in Miracles, the daily lessons, and today we are in between uh, lessons on a focus group, or on a focus lesson, rather. What is the last judgment? Christ's second coming gives the Son of God this gift, to hear the voice for God proclaim that what is false is false, and what is true has never changed. And this, the judgment, is in which perception ends. At first, you would see a world that has accepted this as true, projected from a now corrected mind. And with this holy sight, per perception gives a silent blessing and then disappears, its goal accomplished and its mission done. The final judgment on the world contains no condemnation for it sees the world as totally forgiven, without sin and wholly purposeless, without a cause, and now without a function in Christ's sight, it merely slips away to nothingness. There it was born, and there it ends as well. And all the figures in a dream in which the world began go with it. Bodies are now useless and will therefore fade away, because the Son of God is limitless. You who believe that God's last judgment would condemn the world to hell along with you, accept this holy truth. God's judgment is the gift of the correction he bestowed on all your errors, freeing you from them and all effects they ever seemed to have. To fear God's saving grace is but to fear complete release from suffering, return to peace, security, and happiness, and union with your own identity. God's final judgment is as merciful as every step in his appointed plan to bless his son and call him to return to the eternal peace he shares with him. Be not afraid of love, for it alone can heal all sorrow, wipe away all tears, and gently awaken from his dream of pain, the son whom God acknowledges as his. Be not afraid of this. Salvation asks you, give it welcome, and the world awaits your glad acceptance, which it will free, which it will set free. This is God's judgment. You are still my holy son, forever innocent, forever loving, and forever loved, as limitless as your creator and completely changeless and forever pure. Therefore, awaken and return to me. I am your father, and you are my son. It's a great, uh, a great focus lesson. Uh, what came to me as I was reading is the idea that um, we're all really in a big play, right? This is God's play. And God is all the actors. And if that's the case, then there is really nothing here to be upset about. And I feel that this is the case, that, that there isn't anything here to be upset about when we really understand how life is working. So if each of us is one of God's actors, that was cast in this play, then isn't the most important thing to become the best in the role we've been given? Isn't that really what we're here for? To learn how to be what God sent us here to be. That's my focus anyway. So if you'd like additional support, you can reach out to me, 907-351-3003. Texting is best. You can message me through YouTube or SoundCloud or Facebook or my websites, lindalamp.com or lindalamp.shop. And I look forward to seeing you for the next lesson in this module. Until then, namaste and much love.